I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Uh, in this video, I will be continuing with uh, scheme and solution of uh, model question paper 2. So, here uh, we have uh, considered uh, module 4 in that uh, question number 7a. State a central limit theorem. Use this theorem to evaluate the probability of uh, 50 less than x bar less than 56, where x bar represents a mean of a random sample of size 100 from an infinite population with mean mu 53 and variance sigma square is equal to 400. So they may provide this um, mu value means they can mention this mu symbol and uh, sigma square or else they can just give with mu equal to 53 and uh, variance is 400 then also you need to know that where uh, this value represent a mu and this value represent sigma square or else instead of variance they can also provide this as standard deviation standard deviation that is nothing but directly it represent sigma value so moving on to the stairs, central limit theorem statement so the statement says, states that if x bar is the mean of the random sample of size n form a normal distribution with mu and variance sigma square the random variable z is equal to square root of n times of x bar minus mu by sigma as n tends to infinity the distribution will approach to the normal distribution with z 0 and 1 so the value of z will reach us to 0 and 1 as n tends to infinity so this is what the statement of central limit here moving on to the problem part so it is uh, as same as uh, uh, normal distribution what we have saw solved in uh, uh, module one so here we will consider uh, the given uh, content uh, that is uh, given data n is uh, 100 uh, mu value is uh, 53 uh, variance is 400 that is sigma equal to 20 then we need to find x bar is less than uh, greater than 50 and less than 56 is equal to question mark so that is what i needed to find so just i will substitute uh, the values of uh, n mu and sigma therefore z will be represented as uh, x bar minus 53 divided by 2 after simplification of this part now i will substitute x bar value as first 50 then i will uh, substitute x bar as uh, 56 then i will solve for z1 and z2 so when I substitute the value of x bar equal to 50, I am going to get uh, z1 as minus 1.5. When I get uh, substitute x bar value as uh, 56, I will get the value of uh, z2 as 1.5. So therefore, probability of uh, 50 less than x bar less than 56 will be equal to probability of minus 1.5 less than z less than 1.5. It is nothing but a normal distribution curve having the region having the region area minus 1.5 to plus 1.5 so i we need to calculate this area this is nothing but two times the two times the probability of 0 less than z less than 1.5 since we have uh, we can overlap along the value z equal to 0 here along z equal to 0 uh, so therefore uh, we are having uh, two times the value <coughs> of z lying between 0 and 1.5 so therefore this is nothing but the definition of area of uh, 1.5 so finding uh, the normal uh, variant uh, variant value by using that uh, table so your uh, handbook will be provided for you you can make use of it otherwise i have given the shortcut how to uh, find out the phi of 1.5 i have explained in my previous video you can refer how to find the shortcut uh, values of normal uh, standard variation so we can find out uh, using uh, calculator so using that i am going to get the answer as 0.8664 this is how we can find and solve the problem of question number 7a so if you have any doubts you can put a comment i will clarify your doubts thank you for watching this video